What's up guys, it's the BMG Bookmark Daily back again today, and it's been a really long time since I made a vlog. I know it's just been about a week or so since I last updated, uh, uploaded a video, but now I've got an actual vlog again um, to just show you a couple advancements uh, that I did to my room or studio, I guess, tour. Um, just show you a couple new things that I added, and then a little bit of a haul um, so that I can uh, get this video out as fast as I can um, and let you guys know that I'll be doing a fairly long live stream tonight, hopefully. But first off, let's get into a couple updates um, on my channel. So first off, it's really kind of difficult to see with all of the light that's coming in behind me, but I put a couple new sets on my ceiling. Um, now before, I had just a B-25 bomber from World War II that was an actual model uh, made of plastic that I built before, but now I have um, the Captain Marvel, um, kind of like an OG um, Quinjet design. Um, the new 2021, um, uh, this is the uh, X-Wing fighter. Um, and I wanted to say real quick, I really like what LEGO's doing, making smaller, uh, more easily uh, accessible for younger ages uh, Star Wars sets. Instead of just making another 4 plus X-Wing, which they actually are doing in March. Um, but this one was just $50 compared to the one that they put out last that was a whole, I think, $90. And then the last one over here is the Guardians M ship. Uh, came from the Thanos Ultimate Battle set in, I believe, 2018 for Infinity War. And I do have the, um, I forget what the set's called, but kind of the little escape pod uh, piece of that that they stuck in to that uh, build just to add it on, uh, give it a little bit more detail, and I think that looks really great. Um, in other news, I guess I could show you guys, um, I put one new poster up, and there's that bomber. Um, that's for the uh, Skywalker Saga, I believe, that new game that's coming out. Um, hopefully I'll get a chance to play it, I'm not sure. I don't even know when it's going to come out, but I just thought it would look cool, and it looks a lot better than the Lego Friends design that's on the other side of that. So, with that, I think that's all the new studio um, extra things to show you, except um, one other kind of uh, additional detail. I got some Lego tape from Meka. This is the black 2x2. Uh, two two. I believe this is the 2 meter roll. Um, not exactly sure how much it is in feet, but I think it's close to 6 feet. Um, but uh, I had some Lego tape before that didn't work very well, so I decided to get some real make a block tape, which they stopped making about a year or two ago. So I got this on eBay for actually a pretty good price, and I'll show you what I did with that in just a minute. Um, but hopefully that'll look good uh, adding around in my studio somewhere. All right, so there's some pretty bad glare off this glass, but this is what I wanted to do with the make a block tape. Um, I took this old case that my mom had and I put little squares of makeup block tape in each little uh, spot along the case. Um, as you can see, there's a couple open spots. And I put some of my most valuable figures, some uh, original police officers and firefighters, a um, couple of the Benny's Space Squad, um, uh, I guess, space figures, and then a couple OG ones. There's some Chima figures. That's not all my Chima figures. Um, but it might give you a hint to what's in the package that I got. Then um, I have the King over here, which that's just a really nice figure that I have that I wanted to put in. But the other ones on this row, this row, and the bottom row are all uh, from the collectible minifigure series. So just thought that would be really nice. Um, I'll hang this up at some point, probably won't be in the vlog. Um, but I'd like to put this up in my collection somewhere just just for a nice display piece. But now let's get straight into that unboxing. All right, here I am at the floor of my studio and I will try to make sure, um, I'm just, just make sure I've got no addresses on the side of this that you guys will be seeing just in case. Um, but I got this package, have to un unbox it on the floor because it is a massive, massive box. Looks like someone else scratched out an old address because this, uh, what is inside this is obviously Lego, but it's also used. So um, I got this from a third party seller and obviously they got this as a third party box. So let's crack into this thing and uh, see what's inside. 
Now the box doesn't look to be in the best condition, but we'll see what we can do. Alrighty. So, looks like a pretty nice packaging job. Um, got some some of that Amazon bubble wrap and uh, cardboard paper, along with some original bubble wrap. So, uh, multiple kinds of bubble wrap. But here is what was included in this box. So, this is not sealed. As I said before, this is used, um, but let's see if I can pull this out of here. But I am lucky enough to have found this with the box included. This is the Lego Legends of Chima Lion Chi Temple. I believe this came out August 1st or 9th, 2013. Pretty exact date on that. But um, this, after I build it, I will have to decide if this is actually my favorite Lego set of all time. But I have to say it's up there. It's definitely top five, or at least of the ones that I have. So can't wait to get this open and build it. Um, got some really old nostalgic box designs on this um, obviously some very specific Chima details on this but um, can't wait to uh, uh, crack into that set and um, build it up on a live stream so the the thing about the live stream though that makes it so exciting is um, this set is uh, doesn't say on the box but it's uh, about 1,258 pieces, I think. Um, so this will be a little bit difficult to build, but also, as I said, being used, it won't be in numbered bags, which will make it extremely difficult to build. And I'm planning to do this all on a single live stream. So it could take me an hour, it could take me three or four hours. So we'll see what we can do out of this and get a um, massive, Lego Legends of Chima um, live stream going on the channel. So, see you guys in that live stream. Hopefully, it'll come, be coming out later um, today as of the posting of this video, uh, quite possibly just an hour or two after I post this video. So, please hop into that live stream and we'll get this show on the road.